Hey everyone, this is Lindy. And I'm Russell. From Love Create Celebrate. And today we are tackling our coffee station. So we actually planned to put up this coffee station when we did this feature yeah. wall like six months ago. But that was a weekend makeover and we, we barely finished the feature wall, let alone <laughs> putting up shelves. So, so it was a bit overly ambitious for yeah. that one. Shocker. <laughs> But now we're finally going to get to the coffee station. It's actually a fairly easy project. Yeah. Like pretty much anyone could do this if afternoon. you have a bare countertop. Yeah. Real simple project. We're going to change out some of the hardware on the cabinet below. We are going to put some shelves up for decor. And we have some really and simple brackets from Ikea actually, that we bought ages it, ago. Not just for decor. It's to store things. It not is functional as well. Yeah. Not just for pretty things. <laughs> We're both avid coffee drinkers. Yeah. You don't want to see us pre-coffee in the morning. No. We're pretty excited to yeah. finally have a dedicated coffee station. It's going to separate it a little bit from the kitchen, yeah. look like its own piece. I think it's going to look great. And it should make our coffee drinking experience more it, enjoyable. It'll make the coffee taste better for sure. 100%. 100%. Yeah, plus 10 to 100%. coffee no chance. Let's get to our coffee station transformation. Yeah. Woo! So the first and most important step in our coffee station makeover was deciding how many shelves to put up and where to put them. Somehow the IKEA brackets that we chose fit perfectly into the moldings on our feature wall. This was not planned, but we got really lucky. We didn't want our brackets to sit in the gaps or to have to put pieces of wood in there to fill it up. So this definitely makes our job much easier. Obviously, if you're working with a flat wall, you don't have to think or worry about this. Unfortunately, it did somewhat hinder where we could put our brackets because there weren't that many spots in line with each other where we could put the brackets. It limited where the height of our shelves could be, as you can see from where we're pointing with our hands in the video. Originally, I had thought it would be really awesome to have three shelves put up and to sort of stagger the width of them. Unfortunately, because of how we are putting our brackets on the moldings, a third shelf just would have been way too high to be at all functional. So we ended up going with two, which I'm still really happy about. We also got some beautiful new hardware to use in the space, including knobs and pulls with this beautiful mix of matte black and brass. And then we got these beautiful long black cabinet pulls that we wanted to use for mugs or tea towels or hanging something like that on the coffee station. So our next step was just determining where would be the best place to hang them so that they would look good and be functional, meaning that we'd be able to actually reach the mugs or tea towels that we had hanging from these poles. Once we had all the spacing and placement figured out, it was time to measure and see how long we wanted our boards to be. In the end, we decided to do a one inch overhang off the front of the brackets and a three inch overhang on the left and right side of the brackets. Once we knew our measurements, it was time to cut the boards. We used a simple three quarter inch pine shelf board that you can get at any hardware store and cut it down into nine inch wide boards for our shelves using the table saw. Next, we used the miter saw to cut our two boards down to the proper length. So this next step is totally optional, but we really wanted our boards to sit as flat as possible against the molding, especially since the moldings were already raised from the wall. And since our brackets had a little piece sticking up at the back, we actually cut a notch right into our wood boards so that they would slide around the bracket and be flat against the molding wall. Once the notches were all drawn in, Russell very carefully used the table saw to saw out the notches and then sanded them really lightly once he knew that they fit around the brackets perfectly.
The final steps of these shelves were to sand them all down, make sure that they were all smooth, and then stain and varnish them. This was probably actually the longest part of the entire makeover because even though staining the boards only took five or 10 minutes, we had to wait 24 hours between the coats of stain and we had to wait 24 hours for the varnish to set. Back inside, while we were waiting for things to dry, I wanted to get a couple of things set up for the coffee bar. And one of those things was to take the labels off all of my plastic syrup bottles. But it turned out to be a lot harder than I thought. I got as much as I could off of the label by hand. And then I brought the whole thing over to the sink to soak it, to try and rub off some of the rest of the label. And when that didn't work all the way, I actually ended up mixing coconut oil with baking soda, rubbing it on the outside, and magically that did take away all of the sticky residue. And then the final step was just to take off the cap, add a new little pump. You can buy these pumps on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. And in my opinion, it looks a whole lot better and a whole lot more modern really quickly. When the varnish had set on our shelves, we were able to mount the brackets and the shelves to the wall. Now it was time to put those awesome matte black appliance poles on. We planned to use these poles to hang some mugs, so I'll link to the poles and I'll link to the S-hooks we used to hang the mugs, both in the description below. We decided to put our two poles right in front of one another so that we would have two rows of mugs. I think the look of having the mugs in front of one another is actually going to look really cool, but it also saves a bunch of space since these are nine inches wide we could easily fit the two poles and we don't have to take the space up from under another spot or another shelf finally we wanted to customize the handles on the cabinet underneath our coffee station we just wanted to define this space a little better and make it stand out as separate from the rest of the kitchen since it is kind of off to the side of the kitchen and now has this beautiful coffee station above it. Switching out hardware on cabinets and switching out knobs is one of the easiest and quickest changes you could make. We got these beautiful matte black and brass handles. I love the look. I love the way the brass plays off some of the other brassy gold elements I have. And I love the colors against the white cabinet and against the feature wall. So I thought it was the perfect addition to the space. And the last step, which also happens to be my favorite step, is styling all of the shelves. As you can see, it takes me a little while to get my styling right. I often move pieces around and change positions until I'm happy with where all of the items are. I'll link to some of these cute accessories and art prints in the description below in case you're looking for any coffee station styling tips. I hope you guys liked this project. We are absolutely loving our new coffee station. All of the little details really made this space come together from the beautiful new knobs and handles that define the space 
to the custom syrup bottles and to the appliance poles that now hold all of our beautiful coffee mugs. If you like this project, please give the video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. And as always, hit that bell so you can be notified of more great DIY and home renovation projects.